Hello there. Literally minutes ago, a very exciting module dropped for Foundry, and it's the Year Zero Combat one. Um, literally, yeah, it was about half an hour ago. And um, I just picked it up from Discord and wanted to have a quick look to see how you can actually install it and what it does. So let's have a look. I'm going to, first of all, find the module in my uh, add uh, modules here, and it's going to be called install new module. Year Zero Combat. Here it is. Year Zero co uh, Engine Combat. Install. Wait a second, it takes to download it. And I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to go to my game system, uh, game world, so Blade Runner. And just log on here. Blade Runner is one of the uh, supporter systems. There are some others. The list is currently, what does it say? Blade Runner, Forbidden Lands, Twilight 2000 and Vasen. Or Vasen, as people in Sweden seem to say. So let me clear this up. Um, if you have installed the starter module, um, which I haven't actually here, let me just enable them as well, then you will already get an initiative card set. So I have nothing enabled here. Sorry, it's a bit small, this menu. Um, let me just actually make the font size a bit bigger for you so you can see what I'm doing at home and get to English here. Font size, that's bigger. That should be visible for you. So I'm going to then stick on the modules. I'm just going to go with the starter set at this moment and with nothing else but Year Zero Engine. Save module settings. So everything is clean. Everything else you see is as it comes. Um, I will import the adventure. Click that away. And now you will see that I've got the starter set initiative card here, but also that the uh, Year Zero Combat has created an initiative deck for me. If you click on that, it's basically playing cards from 1 to 10. And that I've got a discard pile which needs to be in, uh, configured. Now, in order to actually use not just the default one, the, the plain one, but actually use the Blade Runner ones, what you need to do is you need to open this deck up and you see this little um, icon right here at the top where the compendium icon is. That's basically the key to get to the compendium or to this deck. So if you click on that, it will copy that key into your clipboard. You then go to settings, configure settings here. Go to Year Zero Engine Combat, and in here you paste the name or the key for that deck. You can then, you've got a few options down here, so you can say initiative order lowest to highest, or the other way around, you can do that. Um, you can do an automatic draw whenever the combat starts, I guess that means you can reset the initiative deck um, when starting a new combat. I would definitely recommend that. And some games like Dragon Bane is every single turn, isn't it? So you may have to do it anyway, but reset it. Send initiative messages, that's fine. Slow and fast actions. Blade Runner doesn't really need them because you've got a, a movement and another action, but let's leave it on. You can duplicate combatants if they have a higher speed. So that's for Forbidden Lands, for example, but you need to know the, the key of where the speed is held. I don't bother with that because we're in, in Blade Runner right now. And so the maximum people can have is three cards. Um, now, sometimes you get more than one card. So um, they're more normally talents. So I guess we, we might have to do that manually. Don't know yet. Best time I'm trying this as well. So you save the changes. You then go and find some characters. Those three, put them into combat. And let's pop out the combat tracker. You can now see here, hopefully you can see that, it's not too small, um, that I've got not just the dice next to it, now I've got cards next to it. And I have, I've, up here I've got a couple of extra options. So I've got reset initiative, I've got link to scene, click to unlink. So this means this initiative setting is linked to the scene, I believe. You can reset the deck from here or you can go through the settings here. But if I just want everybody to draw, then I've got this, I just clicked on it. And in the chat you will now see Nice little cards here, who got which card, and they even pop out, which is quite neat. I like that. And I've got my initiative done. I can begin combat, and I will now go in the initiative order, lowest to highest, as I said. 
And that is in all brevity how you configure this module. And I'm quite keen to try this out. I'm going to stream Forbidden Lands next week, and I think I might just, uh, just about give this a go. Anyway, hope this uh, very short video is helpful if you're wondering how to actually use this module. I found it a delightful surprise just before Christmas that they have actually managed to do this. And it says here that Alien is in the, uh, in the works. Right. Hopefully I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.